What's up, Pisces? I'm back with another one. Ready to hook you up with a message, baby. Message. <laughs> I don't know if y'all remember that. Maybe I just aged myself. Actually, no, I didn't age myself. My whole life is a giant cycle. Can't really age what you come back to, huh? Anyways. All right. So if today's your birthday, uh, happy motherfucking birthday. Cards falling out already. Night, and I'm not ready yet, uh, spirit. I actually would like to shuffle. All right. Someone's choice is being presented to you from the world because there's a lot of options. I wonder what that's about. All right. See what's going on with you. I'm hearing spit it out. Spit it out already. I don't I don't know if that's you saying it to me. Oh goodness. You saying it to me or spirit. Okay, I got first card seven of uh seven of wands. Strength card. The world, I'm not the world, I'm so sorry. This is the Wheel of Fortune. This stands for a lot of cycles going on. And then we've got the Ace of Cups. Spit it out, spit it out already. Okay, you're scared about something. You're scared of a, a change. You're scared of a decision. This is specifically for someone. And you are, oh, this is at the bottom of the deck. As I was like, because it, it gets all like this and whatnot. So I was, anyways. <laughs> So you are feeling the five of pentacles energy. You are feeling like uh, a decision that you're being faced with is going to put you out in the cold. It's going to put you out. You're just, um, you're going to be in deep regret. It's deeper re feelings of rejection, feelings of, I'm feeling fear, definitely fear. Okay. Um, to the mental of the mental state being disturbed in some way, shape, or form. And so this is your energy right now, this seven of wands. You are being faced with seven in general, and especially in tarot, is there's options. The element of options is there. Whether it's coming to you, against you, it's just available. Okay, you get it? So there's a lot coming at you, and you don't know what... The, see, this person's fending off these options with a stick. This could be finance. This could be... This could be finance. This could be solutions um, being presented to you with family. Um, this could be suitors, uh, like suitors meaning like lovers and stuff. Um, and then, yeah, that's your energy. Listen, you have a new cycle to you. And I think that is what you are fearing more than anything. It's not what the actual options are, choosing the wrong one, just the fact that you are being pushed to, to start a new cycle. But I got to tell you, there's abundance coming with this and you will be handling this with grace. No matter what you pick, no matter what the decision is, you are going to handle it with grace. It is, that's, that's your destiny with this decision. This new, that will result in a new cycle because you know it's coming. It's always so, 10 of cups. What do you have to be scared of? This is your, this is your sign. This is your sign in this reading. Wake up. Wake up. You've been, been handling fear and all. Right after that card. Yeah, this is you inside. More wands energy. You're fighting yourself. Come on, this new cycle, this new uh, routine or whatever it is. Emperor comes after that. Emperor comes after that. There's going to be some kind of ruling authority that comes in. Someone that comes and saves the day. Emperor vibes. Aries. Maybe a very strong masculine is going to come in, divine masculine. Okay. Okay. We've got the Page of Pentacles. I want this clarified, actually. Let me, clarify. Let me please clarify the Page of Pentacles and what it... Oh, okay. Okay. Two cards came out. We've got the Hangman. We've got the Hangman. That's you. Pisces card for sure. 
And then we've got Queen of Cups. That's you too, baby. You are enough. You may think you don't have enough, but you do. You have a lot to offer. You don't have this to offer. You have this to offer, baby. Come on. Note the difference. Note the difference. You have enough. You need to not doubt yourself in whatever this is. This new cycle, buying that house or whatever. Now, I'm not giving you financial advice, okay? Let me be very clear. Okay, you need to, you you understand your decisions. I'm I'm speaking to someone, though. This is about clairvoyance. This is divination. Um, I'm being guided to give you this message. Yeah, this has to look at the bottom of that energy with the two cards that just came out. We have the more wand energy, three of wands. You are conflicted. You are looking out, wondering, like... You got this. Okay, can I get more messing again? Like three more cards. There's one card right here. Let's go through six of cups. Six of cups. No, that was in the deck. Let's get two more cards, please. All right, you want me to focus on that other card? Okay. So after the queen of cups came out, this six of cups, that's because you are a birther of new ideas. So uh, if you, do you understand? You're going to have more that comes from this. You are going to put in, oh my God, let me just, let me just show you the deck real quick. Okay. So we got the ace, the ace of uh, cups right here, right? So you're going to get, you're going to, you're going to give this one cup. Okay. Remember these, these cards, you're going to give this one cup and you will get back 10. Do you understand? Do you understand? You got emperor energy that I think that's going to be your, your vibe. This is going to be your, your energy in general. But you're scared. You're in your head that you, this is all you have to offer. You don't. You don't, bitch. Look at this. Look at this. This is what you got to offer. Not that. Not this stupid little coin. That's what I'm saying. You're, you're up in your head with like old concepts about, about money, about, about old concepts and ideologies surrounding money and stability and home life. Okay? You, listen, you're going to give that, right? So we jump from that concept. When you give that too, you skip back six. Come on, get out of here. Get out of here. What are we doing? What are we doing? Pisces, let me be your hype woman. Let's go. Two more cards. There's one more card. Yes! Bah! Judgment card. I can already tell what this is trying to say right here with the judgment card. First of all, this is Major Arcana. Major Arcana is for me, or for me as the reader, are are also confirmation. Saying that well, the message I'm giving is on par, is correct, okay? So this is for somebody, but this judgment card is saying like, you wake up. Wake up. Remember how you manifest and said, damn, I wish I had the motivation. I wish I had the the knowledge. I wish I had the connections, the opportunity. Okay, we're here now. We're here. We're here. What you going to do about it? Are you going to get up from your grave or are you going to get back in it? Come on now. We can't be doing this. Can be manifesting great beginnings and then not be recognizing it when it's right at your doorstep. Oop. No, that's too much. I saw that though. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nope. Onto the table, please. Table. One more card, please. Thank you, spirit. Look at it. Oh. Remember how we've been, I've been showing you all these wands? Talking about how the wands are like a, in this reading, a symbol for your internal mental conflict and stuff. This, this will change this. If you adhere to this advice that I'm giving you, I'm giving you a lot of advice here, but this in particular here at the end, if you wake up, this is how you're going to come in. This is you. This is you coming in, you overcoming all of the mental struggle, all of the fatigue, all of the doubts, all of the concerns, all of the, do you understand? Come on, you deserve this. You want this. This means more to you than anything else because you know that you can't achieve much more in this life. No one can without getting this shit in check. Come on, man. You need to, you have more to offer. You do. You do. You do. I know you just came to, came out of something. I know that you are at the top of a mountain right now and you are tired because that was a motherfucking mountain. Everyone's like, yeah, you climbed the mountain. And you're like, yes, bitch. But also I climbed a mountain. Can I just chill up here for a bit? But baby, you are meant for more. 
You are meant for more. The top of this mountain is now the bottom of the next. And that's not a negative. That's a, that's to show, oh my God, you, you, you are going to accomplish more than anybody in your life, which is crazy because I think the person I'm talking to was called lazy, was called, um, was procrastinate, you know, you procrastinate is what I'm hearing. You procrastinate. You're lazy, you procrastinate, you're never going to get it done. And you have allowed a, a lot of that to get in, creep into your actual personality and identity. And you had to fight out of that. And you did it. You did it. And I get it. You're ready to go back to something comfortable now that you've achieved so much because you are doing well. You've hit, you've hit a stride of some sort. You've hit a stride of some sort, you know. But you can't. It's time. It's time to keep going. This is what you asked for. This is what you asked for. You prayed for this. You asked for this. You summoned it. You manifested it to be that bitch. Guess what? You are. You are. There's a saying. I wish I. It's a very popular saying. Um, it's like to to whom much is given, much is asked, and it's. And it's because you, you're, it, it's true. You have a lot that you need to achieve because you want to achieve a lot. You're not someone that just, I don't know, you just have so much to give. All those areas in your life that you do so well in, like, you know, the, it's another saying, um, um, jack of all trades, master of none or something like that. Not you, bitch, you master all those motherfucking trades. Yeah. <laughs> Like you're really, you are multifaceted. Like you're very unique. You're well-rounded. There are multiple different things you are good at. And you are actually capable of mastering all of them, but you've asked for that and you've always seen yourself in that situation. So it's time for you to do it. You are being called to step into your light, into yourself, into your world that you created and manifested. Baby, it already exists. We're just waiting for you to show up. Okay, I love you. Again, if today is your birthday, happy birthday. I hope you are celebrated. I hope you are honored. You are loved. If no one tells you that you are, I'm telling you right now. Okay, I'm sitting in this space by myself and I know I'm talking to somebody. So it's meant for you, okay? I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Have a great day, baby.